Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to my garage, everybody. How you guys doing? In the last episode, uh, we went ahead and got this puppy all the way up to a full five star worth a 12 point to a thousand dollars. We're not going to go sell this today as we still have forty one thousand dollars up there in the top left. And uh, let's say hello to Lamo. Hey, Lamo, how's it going? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's such a good fish, aren't you? Such a good fish. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go see this guy real quick. Hola, Nacho Delareta. How you doing, senor? <laughs> Look at him. He means business. He got his hammer up on the table. He says, pay me now or your life will be ruined. <laughs> anyway, anyway, sorry. Sorry about it. Okay, anyway, uh, this episode, we're going to do another five star. Um, we're going to do a car that we haven't done in the past 10 episodes or whatever. I think we started with the Bart. We did a five-star Bart, the green machine. That was that race car that we had. And then I believe we did a Chad, a Jason, a Niv. And let's see if we can get maybe a Woof. Well, there's not a Woof in here. Um, we said we already did a Lad. Yeah, we did the five-star Lad build. Though it was a four-door, uh, but we don't want to do that. Anyway, what is this one? This is the old Bart for 20 grand. Uh, we've already done a Bart build, so I don't think we're going to do that. We have not done a five-star truck build, though. Oh, this might be a good opportunity. Oh, yeah, oh, this might be a good opportunity. Never mind. We, I was going to swamp it to a two-wheel drive, but uh, there's not that much going on here. Let's just buy this one. Let's go fix this puppy up. And we actually have a bunch of B200 parts. Uh, it is a short bid for $10,000. It comes with a 3.8 lock 3.8 locked differential four speed gearbox it has 200,000 kilometers on it and uh yeah we got it how much do we have left okay yeah we still have tons of money left 32 grand let's go ahead and five star this sob uh, let's take a look at it real quick here okay okay engine doesn't look the worst so that's good uh the underneath didn't look too bad either uh, we do have a bad spring maybe we'll stop over here at the um the warehouse real quick and load this up with any potential parts before we head up oh we're definitely not keeping this color what is the original color okay it's this pink uh we'll probably change that i don't think i no 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 i mean we're selling it so it's not going to really really matter but regardless interiors kind of bad well at least um the dashboard anyway let's see how this thing starts okay starts up pretty good Let's go ahead and uh, throw it into first. And let's head over. Oh, damn it. Uh, damn it. I wonder how our. Um... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I wonder how our uh, transmission and clutch plates and all that are doing. I released it kind of slow, but. Oh, damn. Look at my frames, bro. Oh, no. Why am I getting such frame drops? Okay, now I'm not. But when we turn this way, let's see, which way is it? Oh, 37 frames, bro. Okay, that's not good. I need to figure out what's causing that. Anyway. Let's just have a look and see what kind of parts we have here. I don't remember exactly which one it is. Let's see if we can remember. Hold on a second. First one is the abandoned cars. Then I think it's the lad and nev i think this is the right one no no i think it's number five let's see dang yeah bro this is it wait is this it hold on no this is the damn nev shit okay hold on okay i kind of i got it together now zero is our shells number one is our b200 and so forth anyway let's take a look here um let's see exactly what we're going to be needing we're going to turn on our let's just turn on the uh the builder storage. Yep. Let's just... Oh, no, no, no. We forget how to play the game today. Anyway, let's turn this on. Let's take a look. Okay, so we need one front leaf spring. Everything else seems to look good. Shocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't quite tell on the hubs or anything, but... Let's run to the back real quick. So we need one front, and that's it. Oh my god. Okay. Um, this doesn't look too swell though. Look at that. It's like bent. Anyway. That all looks good. Let's look at the panels. Uh, all the panels look good. This thing is not beat up at all. 
Okay, let's grab that front leaf spring, which is right here. We're just going to toss it in the back right away. Yeah, and by the way, I'm going to turn this truck into a two-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, once we're done doing the five-star builds, um, we're going to go ahead and swap this puppy out, hopefully, and do a... Uh, it's just going to be rear wheel drive. Yep, I think that'll be kind of fun. Anyway, um, let's see what else we got in here, by the way. I think most of this is going to be paneling and framing and stuff, right? Yeah, and we have some beds over there. Okay, well, I guess that's it. I don't have any engine parts in there. I don't have anything else worth anything. Okay, did we have a dash? I don't think we do. Let's just double check. Nope, that's a firewall. Uh, that's another firewall. Now nah, it doesn't look like we have any. Okay, let's just shut this thing and uh, let's take this up to the house and let's start. Uh, let's start repairing it. Oh damn it! We do have a bunch, a bunch of tires here. Let's just look at these tires real quick. Um, that one's good. That one is good, good, and okay, they're all good. They're all good. Let's just head up to the house now and uh, let's start repairing this thing or ripping it apart and all of that stuff, right? All right, we are in uh, damn it. I forgot to turn off my flashlight. It's all right. That thing doesn't take batteries anyway There we go. There we go Oh, yeah, dude, I'm definitely getting some fame. Oh frame dips back there. Okay, at least I know it's not the house Because look The house isn't causing any issues. Okay, good. So whatever I got going on back there uh, I did something or built something that's causing me some huge, huge frame drops. Anyway. again um let's go ahead and we're gonna pull in it over this way oh wait what am i doing my bad anyway i forgot that i don't have it up there anymore i got it up oh damn it damn it yeah we got yeah let's get it up the hill oh yeah 40 bro 40 frames okay anyway let's turn it off real quick yeah, I don't know what could be causing that down there at the um at the paint booth. I'm a little bit sad, bro. Anyway, let's turn this on. We're gonna have to grab a remove tool. Yeah, some of you have noted this is probably more meant for like oil changes, tire changes, uh underneath work exhausts, you know, gas tanks, all of that sort of thing. So I agree with you guys. I agree. Let's move this uh down to here. And yeah, this will be maybe like our little oil changing section. Um, you know that, I, mean, I guess right here is gonna be fine, right where the old one used to be. All right, looks straight enough. Looks straight enough. Let's grab this other lift. This one's gonna work a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't wonder what's causing that though, bro. Man, oh, I noticed it yesterday, um, actually, I reloaded in and I forget what the heck I did, but okay, that looks pretty dang good. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull the truck in and then, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get started ripping it all apart. Here we go. Uh, we should be able to drive right over that. Yep. And I don't know how far to go. Maybe that's going to be fine. I don't really have a choice, I guess. Anyway, let's hit that break. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump out. Let's see where we're at. Damn. No wonder why I got stuck, bro. I'm a bad driver. Okay, that looks good. It took me a couple tries, uh, but yeah, it's not quite centered. Whatever, I give up. We're just going to lift it. Come on. 
There we go. I feel much better now. I feel much better. Um, I guess we should start with the body, of course, just like always. Uh, but I do want to look under here again just to make sure we got everything. Mostly looking at the frame pieces. Uh, they all look good. Okay, good. Um, yeah, yeah. Got some exhaust. Okay, okay. A little bit of work on the engine. Not a whole lot. So that looks good. We have one bad uh, drive shaft, one exhaust. Okay, let's bring it back down. Let's go ahead and get our hammer. Um, we're going to check for dents first. Okay, I got the hammer, and let's just go ahead and start checking for dents. I mean, it looks like it's in great shape, so I don't think we're going to have any. Nah, it didn't look like it. Let's just double check the f framing. Oh, look, we have a hand here. Oh, that's for our leaf spring in the back of the truck. Anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, no, no. Okay, okay. All that looks great. Let's go ahead and just grab our sandblaster, and let's go ahead and just uh, start doing the rust, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be all right. Uh, and we ran, we ran out. Oh man, I had all of my sand actually stacked up over there. Um, I was cleaning up, and then I forget something happened to where I had to not save it and reload, and I lost it all. Anyway, we'll just stick one in here. Yeah, I had it all stacked up, nice and beautiful. Like I wasn't about to do it again. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this up. Oh, good. Did he change the textures a little bit? It looks like it, huh? Yeah, I kind of feel like it should have a more of a um, a steel look, right? I don't know. I've never done sandblasting, so ignore me. Right, let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, okay. Uh, we have some down here. Let's grab inside of the bed. I know we had a bunch in here. Jump full. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. Jump. No. Jump. There it is. Uh, let's throw the leaf spring. Let's go ahead and grab that. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's take a look at it. We did not get all of the rust. Uh, there might be some behind the bed. It might be in these little spots. Uh, one trick that I've heard is that you can grab your yellow padded grinder and then just kind of hit the spots that you hit with the sandblaster and that should help uh, possibly remove any remaining rust, you know what I mean? Uh, but we do have a crap load in that door jam, so let's go ahead and grab it. There we go, let's look at it. Okay, cool, we actually got all of the rust. Um, so let's go ahead and put this sandblaster back. And we're going to stick it back over here. And then we are, in fact, going to grab our yellow padded thing. And we're just going to hit it uh, a couple times in those little spots just to be on the safe side. Yeah, so let's just kind of do that in these little spots here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks beautiful. What did we pay for this? Just under 10,000 rate. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's start ripping off the bad parts. Uh, I think we'll do like we normally do. Start from underneath and work our way up. So let's go ahead and lift this thing. Careful, careful. Look how close it's getting to the roof. Is this one a little bit higher? Jump! No, no, we got tons of room. Tons and tons. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the wrench. I guess we could start with this rear... A leaf spring so let's just pull that off um actually i lie it's a front leaf spring not a rear yep let's go and pull this off though there we go there we go uh we might as well just go ahead and put this one on right away i forgot we have a chute let's just throw it down there and i forgot we're gonna have to take that truck uh and get it emptied anyway let's throw this puppy on the old front here uh we'll do it on the up this side right there there we go tighten Bada bing. And we just got one more. Bada boom. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the rear. Um, how's the fuel tank? Uh, good. Springs good. Shocks good. Axles good. Uh, we can't quite see the... Oh, yeah, look. This has a bad hub cap. 
Um, let's just pull that hub cap off and then we should be able to actually see the regular hub once that falls. And I think it looks good. Let's come around this side. This hub cap, it looks good. Let's just pull it off. And the hub it looks good. Um, I don't know if we should take the tires off and really look inside at the brakes. The brake line looked good. Yeah, that hub does look good. Uh, this don't even have a brake. Oh, yeah, it does. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe he uh, changed the direction of them. Okay, well, anyway, anyway, uh, the front looks good. Let's pick our wrench back up. No, I'm sorry. It's the back, you idiot, not the front. Uh, let's see. And I did forget. Okay, we have to try to remember. The end of the video psychically let me know to get the handbrake line on the damn uh, niv down there. Anyway, we're going to loosen these back pieces because they're actually hooked to the master brake line. And uh, we do want to pull that off. Let's go ahead and grab the front differential. Or no, no, no. It's called a drive shaft. We're going to keep this here since we don't have... Well, I guess we could just put it in the list here. Drive shaft front. Uh, let's go ahead and pull off the mini exhaust right here. This will be, what? what is it called? A, a right one, I think? Yeah, right. Right exhaust short. Uh-huh. We're just going to throw these all down since we have them in the list already. It's going to be just fine. Oh, look at that one. Oh no, oh, my thing didn't work. It didn't even go in it. Anyway, anyway, uh, let's take a look at the brakes. Brakes look good. Uh, we're gonna pull off that. However, all the bits and bobs in there look good. We're gonna have to really get a look at the hub. Shocks look good. Differential looks good. Crossbars um, look good. Actually, I think that has to do with the steering leaf springs yep um steering motor okay okay all this looks great uh let's grab our pry tool once again let's pull off these front hub caps so we can get a look at the hub okay that front hub looks good and that front hub looks good as well excellent excellent Okay, well, this thing doesn't have a lot of work to do. Okay, what did we have? A front drive shaft and whatever's on the list. Let's just go purchase that stuff real quick. So here's the drive shaft front for 93 bucks. And here is all of the exhausts for the V8. And here is the exhaust pipe right. Yep, that looks like everything. Uh, let's just go ahead and start with the old drive shaft. I'm gonna bring, come right inside here. Okay, or not. Or not, you know. Oh, what the frick, bro? Did I get the wrong one? Drive shaft F. Damn it. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, it's the middle one. I swear to God, that damn thing said F on it. Jump down. Let's go look at this thing real quick. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't think it fell in, right? Oh, damn it. We're stuck. Okay, that was a bad choice. Yeah, drive shaft front, bro. Look says f right on the damn thing hold on a second hold on, hold on, hold on. yeah drive shaft f but it's for a niv that's weird anyway let's get back up there what the freak man well the one we bought is definitely definitely too long i think this is the freaking f we must need the m bro i guess we have an extra drive shaft uh, damn it yeah look i think it says drive shaft m hold on we're gonna switch it to the niv real quick I mean, this is what it says it is down there. I don't... 93. It's the same damn one, isn't it? Yeah, it's literally this one. But this looks like the one that we already have. I, I better not buy it. Okay, we're going to use logic rather than what this stuff says. Let's just grab this middle one. I'm pretty sure this is it. Look how tiny it is. Yeah, it seems about right. And it was. Okay, okay. Good to know. Be careful when working on the B200 with all of the uh, drive shaft parts. Let's go ahead and get this tight, however. There we go. Just kidding. Nope. Hold on. There it is. There it is. I was tightening the wrong damn one. Hold on. I'm a little bit too freaking big for in here. 
There we go. There we go. Um, you know what we did not pull off, by the way, is this brake line. So let's just go ahead and grab it real quick. There we go. And the whole thing should pop off. There it is. Yep. Let's go and grab this as well. Um, brake line master. There it is. Let's just put this on immediately. Uh, we'll just do the exhaust first. Then we'll come back for that. There it is. Let's go ahead and tighten it. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and do the brake line next. How you guys doing today, by the way? Hopefully you guys are doing excellent. There we go. We might as well tighten all the main lines up down here on the calipers now so we don't forget and end up hitting our brakes and uh, emptying it out, right? There it is. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, let's just put this on the shelf. Um, what shelf you may wonder? I have no freaking clue, bro. We're just going to stick it here. We need to try to... Yeah, I need to figure out how to do signs, man. I wish somebody would freaking... I wish somebody would release a damn mod to paint or put decals on anything, bro. Uh, anyway, anyway, I think that's going to be everything for the suspension. Let's go ahead and bring it down and do the interior now. Sorry, I was messing around with these. I was wondering what those were for. I wonder if you could do like all the way up, all the way down in this like an emergency stop button. Anyway, um, we need to grab our screwdriver. It looks like only thing that's really bad in here is going to be the dash. So let's grab that screwdriver real quick. And uh, let's go ahead and pull that thing off. They're going to be directly... Okay, they're going to be directly underneath of it right here. And the same on that side. There we go. Let's pop out. A drop and grab um it's hard to say if the were you guys paying attention to the damn this thing here uh but we do want to pull those out actually the uh dash or the cluster and the you know what the hell is called a gosh dang radio here's the cluster here's the radio and we do want to grab the glove box or not wait is there a glove box on this thing I don't know actually let's grab our screwdriver again and let's peek our heads inside and see if there's a glove box and we left the screwdriver uh, in the truck by the way anyway let's look at everything else too um what is that thing called the wiper motor is good the shifter is good oh man i hope he adds a shifter for the four-wheel drive right uh does this have that back insert it does oh man i was hoping Hold on a second. Let me look at something. Oh, good. It does kind of uh, fix that weirdness right there. Excellent. Excellent. Anyway, yeah, let's see if we can pull out the glove box. I don't know if it opens and shuts or not. It looks like it does. Right here is one bolt. Let's go ahead and grab the other one. There it is. There it is. Let it fall apart. Beautiful. And yeah, because that thing looks good. Let's go buy a new dash. Here's the dashboard for $368. It's quite of an expensive one. Um, it's not going to match the interior, interior, but I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, that looks just fine. Let's go ahead and tighten that up real quick. Then we'll go ahead and put the uh, cluster back in and all of that. There's one. Let's come across the side here. There's the second one. Let's go ahead and throw the cluster in. Hopefully it works. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that radio. We need to grab the glove box. It's going to look interesting uh, being in the black dashboard there, but let's go and get it tightened. There's one and there's the second one. Okay, that looks fine. It does. Uh, how are the, uh, what you call the ceiling? The liner the uh these things look fine okay well i think that's it uh does it have another mirror on the other side it does how's the trim by the way uh lights look good trim looks good let's shut the door yeah it looks like we have all of the trim the grill looks good okay well it's time to yank the engine uh how is the wipers out here by the way oh that one is not good let's go ahead and swap that uh, wiper out real quick yep yep almost missed it 
And the blade does look good, so we're not going to get a blade, but we are going to get a wiper. So here is a wiper. Yeah, I think we'll just use that other blade. And why the hell are there two different blades here? No, there's three different blades. There we go. Let's go ahead and tighten that puppy up. And let's pull off the blade. There it is, there it is, and put it on. Beautiful. Let's pull out the engine. We're going to grab our wrench, unhook all of the wires and all of that. So here's the wire for the starter. Let's grab these two transmission bolts on this side. We might as well just go ahead and grab the engine mount bolt right here. Swing around, grab the alternator. And we're going to grab the fuel line as well. Pull that off. We do have a bad lower hose, by the way. Uh, we're going to grab those and this engine bolt and then the this one here. And that should be all of it. It is. Um, let's just run it straight downstairs right away. Stick it onto our stand. Okay, luckily we have the short exhaust. Uh, let's just tighten that up. There we go. There we go. Let's get back up there. I think there was a slower hose that we need to replace. The radiator itself looks great, but the lower hose not so great. So we're going to pull this off. Uh, yep, toss it down the hole. This is our fuel line. We don't want to toss that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that lower hose, however. Great. I don't know which hose it is, bro. If I switch it to freaking B200, uh, it doesn't show. Darn it. Oh, damn it, bro. I went through the whole engine uh, list here, and I don't even see a radiator, let alone hoses. Okay. And this should be in here, right? Under engines for the hoses and stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be an accessory or an interior thing. Okay, okay. Think, think quad. How do we find it? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure the B200 is compatible with these ones. So what was it, a lower? I done forgot already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and put this on. Yes, it does seem that uh, just kind of like identifiers need to be brushed up a little bit in here, but that's okay. It's all part of early development, right? Okay, okay. So all that looks great. Let's go ahead and start doing this engine now. I think we're pretty much almost done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did we pay for this? 9,600 and something like that, I believe. Um, let's go ahead and start ripping off parts here. It does look like the base of the uh, air filter is bad. So let's pull off this lid. Or not. I mean, you know, or not. Uh, let's put the good parts on the right side again. No, I don't. There's the uh, filter. Yeah, let's pull off that base. There it is. There she is. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have a bad crank pulley. Um, the harmonic balancer looks good, so we're just going to pull the pulley itself off. Oh, bro, there's the damn belt, by the way. Uh, that looks like a good belt, actually. Yeah, yeah, it should be a little bit blacker, but... I am pretty sure that is a good belt. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that pulley real quick. All right, all right. Uh, let's see what else is looking bad on here. The fuel pump looks good. Manifolds look good. Alternator definitely is good. Same with the oil filter, the distributor. The ignition coil all looks fantastic. Uh, clutch thing looks good. The thermostat, the water pump, timing cover, fan all looks great. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just pull off the oil pan and take a look at the crankshaft and uh the pistons right oh look we've seen the i can see the timing chain in here by the way there it is yeah the timing chain does look good all right here's the oil pan okay, this freaking engine's really giving me the business by the, by the way let's take a look however okay all, all of the pistons Dins definitely look good. Timing chain, yep, we already said. Crankshaft itself looks good. The flywheel looks good. Uh, we'll have to kind of peek in here. And the 
clutch plate itself with these little red things look immaculate it all looks fantastic bro this engine is quite surprising let's go ahead and throw this oil pan back on and then we're gonna have to take off the valve covers so we could look at the rockers i mean technically we don't have to pull it off so i don't know if i should or not i like to try to be a little bit realistic but i've kind of uh abandoned that whole thing in this episode anyway let's just we'll just cheat it's fine uh rockers look good let's take a look at the head gasket uh head gasket does look good can we see the uh all of the spark plugs oh yeah dude check it out all of these look good as well uh, let's come around to the other side the exhaust has given me a little bit of the business but this side, I can't quite see the exhaust. Or not the exhaust. Damn it. Couldn't quite see the head gasket in here. It looks like it's fine. I think it's sitting underneath of that white bit a little bit. You see there? Yeah, I think it's fine. However, uh, what did the spark plugs look like? Okay, I'm cheating a little bit, but uh, all the spark plugs actually look great. What the hell, bro? I cannot believe how good this engine is. Okay, well, let's flip it around. And all we need to grab is one freaking base and a pulley. Okay, let's go grab those. Uh, let's just throw our wrench. Just kidding. I tried to throw it, but it wouldn't work. So a base and a pulley. Okay, okay. Base. And I believe this is the big one. Yeah, it looks like it. And here is the crankshaft pulley. Well, that's not very much stuff uh, whatsoever. Let's go ahead and put the base on first. And then we're going to grab that beautiful uh, pulley. There we go. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff back on. Here's the belt. The oil filter. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's an air filter, you idiot. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and tighten that thing up. And then let's just go stick this right back into the old truck there. Loosen. And there we go. There we go. Now, this should put us all the way up to a five star, right? I hope so. I hope I didn't forget anything. I mean, it looks like I got it all. Now, we're going to tighten the block first. Then we're going to grab everything else. And somehow I skipped all the way to the seat there. But let's grab that starter this transmission did we ever tighten this back up by the way we did uh we got the hoses yep 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 let's swing around this side grab the engine mount alternator don't forget the uh transmission and the wire on the motor and let's take a look at it okay we didn't get everything obviously we aren't at a full five stars on the overall uh so we are definitely missing some stuff oh yeah we forgot that hubcap let's just grab that real quick i'm only kidding i don't think they sell hubcaps here they don't they don't we're gonna have to go to town for that that's okay uh, what else are we missing let's check the lights uh yeah yeah it could be lights as well so we're gonna turn those on there we go let's look at the fronts fronts look great let's look at the rears rears look okay the rears look great as well uh, darn it um I guess we should try to start it. Let's look at the fluids. Okay, we got fluids here. Let's take a look at the radiator fluids or yeah, fluids. I was calling them liquids. Uh, it sounds weird to call them liquids. Anyway, that puppy's bone dry. Let's go ahead and put our funnel in and then we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, grab some coolant. There it is, there it is. All right, so we're gonna have to take a taxi. Let's go ahead and sleep for the night and then take a taxi downtown. There we go. It's 10 a.m. And uh, yeah, let's grab at least two bottles of coolant. I should probably stock up on them. We'll just grab six. I think that'll be fine. And then we're just going to stick them down here, I think, for now. Uh, I'll try to organize them maybe in between or something. But uh, let's go and fill this thing up. Oh, yeah. Check this out now. Dude, this makes the B200 filling the fluids up, or the liquids. No, fluids, you idiot. <laughs> anyway, it makes it so much easier and so much nicer. All right, here's one bottle. We're just going to... 
throw it down there. I thought I messed up, but uh, let's grab another one. And uh, you know what? Let's not waste this one. It's fine. It's going to be fine with just one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Of course you guys do. Let's pull this thing out, though. And uh, let's put the cap back on. I did forget to put that cap back on that Niv, by the way. Um, I don't know if any of you caught that, but I left it up here on this part of the damn Niv. Anyway, let's take a look at it. It's worth 13.9, so we didn't make a huge profit, but we got to go paint this thing now. And we also got to figure out what else we're missing. Because that overall, if you don't know, it's all dependent on the number of parts rather than what parts you have, right? Uh, so anyway, let's jump in. Let's get this thing started and uh, let's see how it runs now. Oh, well, you know what? We're forgetting the fuel line, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely realized that. Let's go ahead and put that on. Where the hell is it? It's right here. Uh, open the hood back up. Yeah, I was like, why isn't this thing starting? Yeah, the fuel line. Uh, where is it? Right there. Let's get in here, get it tightened. There we go. It's up to 14 now. It's still not a five star on overall, but we can definitely get it to a five star on overall. I don't know what it could be. Um... Okay, starts right up. We're going to throw it in reverse. Let's head straight down to the paint booth, uh, get this thing painted, and then uh, let's get it all the way up to a full five uh, stars on the overall. Um, there's some cheaty ways to get all that done, so we're going to do that. Uh, the dash does look good, or the cluster anyway, um, but we are almost out of fuel, so we're definitely going to have to get some fuel in this before we leave to the... Uh, used or no no the uh, service center to sell it and if you're wondering when we're gonna sell it we're gonna spend through our entire 30,000 or uh, get through all of the cars first at the used car lot uh, and then we're gonna turn them all in so either we're gonna go broke and then turn them all in or we're just gonna get all the cars period uh, done I think the only car we're missing now is the wolf in the the motorcycles the motorcycles but i'm pretty sure we've done all of the cars now right at the from the used car lot doing five star rebuilds as i'm calling them anyway uh, let's just get pulled in here there we go let's go and get this thing painted we're not going to paint it pink um i think we're just going to paint it one of our colors this is one two three four five six blue or quad blue just kidding uh let's go ahead and grab it though oh, yeah this is a really nice color i think i get the bottom yep get the rims there we go let's come across the back side there we go we're just missing the middle beautiful beautiful let's do the uh, bottom get the rims the middle stand up yep grab this top now, let's do the front now i don't think there's anything paintable down there but anyway it's fine Okay, we can't okay we can't quite get that but there we go there we go let's get the roof and then let's open up the bed jump in the back here uh, but let's get the bed first however okay, get in here there we go wheel wells yep yeah doesn't this look really nice this blue one two three four five six is the uh, color number but yeah, jump, and did we get the roof? Let's see. No, we definitely did not. Um, maybe we can get it from up here. Let's just jump up here. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's drop it, and let's change the color real quick. Enter and change. Okay, we didn't get all of the color. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Where did our thing go? I think we flung it uh, probably back here. So let's just bend in grab all of this right yep 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 come back there we go we want to make sure we get the doors really good right yep yep inside of here and then let's make sure we get the inside of this door as well i mean we could always open it and do it as well um, but it, this paint booth bleeds through pretty good let's take a look at it 
We are at a full five stars on color condition. Uh, not overall yet. We're going to be, but we're up to 17,000. So we've made 7,000 off of this just the way it is. Um, I guess we could check the blinkers. Let's go ahead and turn the blinkers on real quick. Okay, the right blinker works. Let's check the left blinker. Okay, this bulb is out. Let's go ahead and swap it. Uh, yeah, we'll just throw this right in the old trash can. Just kidding. There it is. There it is. Uh, I think they sell bulbs in here. Yeah, he totally does. Uh, we're just going to grab one. I mean, you save a little bit of money if you buy them all, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's put this in. Or not, because I'm on the wrong side. There it is. And it works. I never checked the rear. That one does work. Uh, we're going to jump in, put the right blinker on again. And we're also going to put this into reverse. Uh, so we can check the reverse lights. And okay, all these look good. Okay, let's take a look at it. 17.4. Let's turn off that blinker and let's get it all the way up to the five. Okay, there we go. Uh, what else are we missing though? I don't know. We got the door panels, the windows, do they work? Okay, the front window works. I don't think this moves, no, no. Let's check the driver's side window, however. Okay, driver's side works as well. Okay. Yep, it has the carpet, the... Um, Headliner, front windshield, rear window, all windows. Does it have this little window? It does. Uh, wiper blades. We have batteries and all of the like. Uh, we did say we had all the trim. We do. Uh, what about the tire trim? I didn't look at all that. Uh, let's take a look on this side. We do have all of the tire trim. Oh, we are missing a hubcap. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that hubcap. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to take this actually to the parts store and uh, so we can finish this up and get it at a full five star. We're already in reverse, so uh, yeah, let's just take it all the way over. We'll just reverse all the way over there. Yeah, I like to reverse drive. I mean, we could always put a bed cap on this. Uh, that will help bring up the overall condition. But we're not going to do that. Um, I mean, that would be a good way to do it. Someone is hosting rally events around the country. Thinking about taking part in one of them? This is the hubcap. No, I'm not, bro. No, I'm too busy working on cars and stuff. Uh, let's see. I think it was this side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, it was the rear. There we go. And look, that brought it up to a full five stars. Excellent. This thing is now worth $17,000. If we add 30% to that, that's what, $1,700 for 10% times that by three. Uh, that's going to be an extra $5,100 or so. So this will put it just over 20 grand. And um, we could do some extra things to bring up the value. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and grab the digital speedo. Let's grab a trailer hook. You know what? Let's just put a tonneau cover on this thing for uh, I, uh, maybe not. No, no, I think we'll lose some money. Never mind. Let's go and put these on first. Uh, let's see what it goes up to. I think it was at 17.1 or something like that, right? Um, there's a wrench. Let's go ahead and put the hook on. And does this have the chrome? Yep, it goes over the doors. Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. Let's go ahead and uh, put this on, however. There we go. Let's take a look at it. It's at 17.25. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to put the bed stakes in here. So here's the front, left, right, and rear. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? Bedside box. Oh, I think this is part of a mod. Never mind. Did we get the rear? I don't think we did. Let's put these on. Ah, oh, bro, I, brought the, I bought the wrong one because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, damn it. Anyway, let's get this tightened. 
there we go let's grab this side now this might mess up our color uh, we might have to take it through the booth it does mess it up that's fine we'll take it through the booth and get it painted uh let's see this is the front one let's grab the right side and the rear and grab the right one by the way here's the right short and here's the rear dang it uh yeah here's the rear let's put this on first get it tight right and where's that right one right here let's go ahead and put this puppy on there we go there we go and this should bring it up quite a bit now so let's see how much it ran was that what 17.25 or something seven oh we lost money oh yeah that's because we got to go paint it okay anyway let's head back over there let's paint these things and then uh this thing's going to be completely done all right and we're off we are off slow her down drop it down a second There we go, and uh, we just need to paint this thing real quick. Okay, never mind you guys, and never mind those. These things, uh, they don't have good coloring. So, um, oh wait, maybe because we didn't actually get it all. Look, see down here? Let's check now. No, no, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just pull them all out. It's fine. We're going to look at them just to make sure that they uh, are in fact painted, but... Yep, we got it all. Okay. Unless, of course, it's one of these, like uh, this back one or something. looks all painted okay yep i think it's just uh yep it's just the way these things are it's fine they are they are part of a mod you didn't know anyway there we go we're back up to 17.2 okay well excellent this thing is 100 percent done so cool cool let's go ahead and park this real quick uh next to the niv over there And uh, we are going to back it in, by the way. So let's just spin this thing around. Just like that. Just like that. Yep. And then we're just going to put it right into that spot over there. Um, I did put some curbs up, if you saw. Yeah. I actually tried to put paint some lines on this ground, but I didn't like them. So I removed them. Anyway. There we go. There we go. This puppy is ready to be sold, except for we still have her lights on, but there it is. There she goes. Okay, well, cool beans. So now we have two of them over here. All right. Well, I think that would be it for this one, you guys. We was able to get this thing all the way up to a full-blown five stars, which is pretty cool. The next one, we're going to go grab a wolf and get that puppy five-starred. And uh, we also want to grab two motorcycles after that, uh, and then we will have completed all of the vehicles in a fairly short amount of time and hopefully we'll have a ton of money anyway that will be it for this one thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in another one later on everybody later later on <laughs> oh my lord anyway adios everybody <laughs> adios